Good morning paper crafters. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Um, today's layout comes to you by Cupcakes, created by Recollections. This was in the open stock at Michael's. And this layout is for my daughter when she was 19 months old and she helped me make chocolate chip cookies for the first time. You can only imagine the amount of flour that was everywhere, but it was a lot of fun. All right, so I am supposed to be down here working out but my treadmill and my gym are right next to my scrapbook table, so I kind of migrated over here first. So we'll see if I get a workout in today or not. Anyways, I have a 12 by 12 purple cardstock, and on top of that, I'm gonna put my 11 and a half by 11 and a half cupcake paper, and I'm gonna attach it, excuse me, I'm gonna attach it with my um, ATG tape. is messing up. There we go. And it's summer, so my kids are upstairs. And so hopefully it's early enough in the morning that they stay quiet. Um, this glue that is too thick right here where the ATG messed up, so I'll just get that off of there. All right. Then I took some uh, purple on purple polka dot paper and I traced it with this ruler. It's called Victorian and it's an old borderline creative memory ruler traced it and then cut it out um, with my scissors. So, go ahead and get these put down. And these borders are cut at two and a half inches by 12. Oh shoot, I was going to put these down before I put the cut paper down. Okay, let me cut this down to 11 and a half because let's see. Okay. And I'm going to grab my purple ink here and just get this edge done real fast. Okay. And the same thing with this one. Let me just measure this one out. Next, I have my layouts. This one is four by five, and I cut the um, photo mats down to four and a quarter by five and a quarter, and four and a half by five and a half. And this is going to go here. And then both of these are four by four, and cut up to four and a half by four and a half. So this is going to go just like this here. And I just took, um, the purple paper comes from this one here called Watercolor Dreams by the Paper Studio. 
and I got this one it was on clearance last year for five dollars and the green is just a plain recollections cardstock and I have my baby here and she's going to go right here and then sugar and spice I'm going to put this right behind her like this so and then the spoon will go right on top okay so let me attach my um photo mats first Okay, I'm just going to use a little bit of wet glue and I'm going to avoid putting it on this corner right here. the baby making sure okay and if you saw in my haul I bought these thing, uh, bottles to put glue in because they had a finer tip but not <laughs> bottles are really thick and so they're hard to kind of squeeze to get your glue out. Okay. And then I'm just going to take my um, bone folder and I'm going to this helps spread the glue out behind what is called burnish. Burnish it. So, are your kids out of school yet? If you have children, and if so, what are your big plans for the summer? We're going camping in a couple weeks. So I'm trying to plan for that, and then we'll be spending a lot of time at the water park because that is the best way to keep my kids entertained. <laughs> and me on a budget. All right. Then I'm going to take my spoon. Just put it right across the bag right here. Okay. Then I have these little eggs, and I um, inked around the edges in a sky blue because the white was just blending into each other too much. And of course, eggs do come in blue um, if you have the right kind of. Uh, Hence, so let's go ahead and use my two-way glue to put these down.
Okay, two eggs here. And I think I'll just put the other egg. Hmm. Should I put all three eggs there? When I did my dry run, I left a little bit more room for the eggs over here, but that's okay. Okay, so eggs there. Then I have these chocolate chip cookies. And I'm just going to put them right down here. going to take my bone folder and just burnish that glue underneath. All right, then I have these smaller cookies and I'm just going to put them up here on my um, photo mats. And should only put it on half so it doesn't get on the actual photo or leaving room for the actual photo. Okay. And let's put that one up here. So that is my single page 12 by 12 layout, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. All right, bye-bye.